everyone, welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And this week, uh, we are doing another one of our new releases. So we're working our way through our 2018 uh, new releases. And this is from the Hobbit Door set. So I'm gonna show you how to put this together. Uh, we're going to use this little image here from the uh, Hobbit Door set. It comes with two Hobbit Doors. So this one here uh, is also really cute. It's a circular one, it has a little overhang here. So cute, it has a little mailbox and light. Uh, so lots of things included in this set. And then in addition, we're gonna use one of these wall textures. So the bricks right here. We're also going to need uh, from the new foliage set. So foliage set three, we're gonna use their vines right and left and the field grass right and left. So those four. And then in the tiny uh, mini flower set, we're gonna use this long stem right here and the tiny little dots. So that's all we need. Uh, in addition to that, we are going to use the little grass, the teeny tiny grass from the original foliage set. Okay, so let's get going. We're gonna start out by stamping the, the basic image. So that's the little hobbit door. And we're gonna ink that in two colors. So we're gonna ink that in the African violet. So the number 86, we're gonna ink that first. Just ink that whole thing up. And once you're done with that, we're going to add the sepia to it. So we're gonna ink it in the sepia now. So two colors on this one. And then we're going to stamp it up in the center, but a little closer to the bottom of the page. So right about here is probably good. Just good even pressure. You don't wanna get that too dark on there, uh, but you do wanna be able to see it. Okay, so let's, let's do our first step, and that is to pull the color out of the line. So we're gonna do that first. We're just gonna drag this color out. And we can always do more of this later, so we just wanna get a start here. Pull that color out of the lines. Across the bottom here, and here along these little stone stairs. That looks pretty good. And we can do a little more of this later. Okay, that looks good. So let's go ahead and do our next step. And we're gonna add some cobblestones or uh, some texture to the back end so that we can see some bricks around this little doorway. And first we need to add uh, some color. So we're going to do that from our palette. This is a number 29. So number 29 Prussian blue. And we're just gonna take a little of this color and sort of paint a little rainbow half circle around this door. So just put some of this color on. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's the great thing about this technique is that it doesn't have to be perfect. Love that about it. You know, and that's what makes it um, so quick and easy too is because you don't have to worry so much about the details. Okay, so we've got that color on there. Let's go ahead and add some of this color now to the door while we're waiting for that to dry. So just brush a little of this color onto the doorway and just try to avoid you know, some of these um, lines in here. You wanna just get this color on. Don't worry that it is the same uh, all over the entire door. It's okay for the color to be a little blotchy. That's okay, I think that gives it character. Uh, the more that you brush on, uh, the darker it's gonna get. So that's kind of up to you how dark you wanna see this little door get. Okay, so let's go ahead and take another blue. So this is the number 17, and we're just gonna make some uh, details in here. So we're going to draw some lines in. So this looks like a little wooden door, a little hobbit. And then let's just add a little more color since we're doing this. Let's go ahead and add a little color to that door plate. And this is uh, number six brown. So I've just put a little of this color on my palette and I'm just going to add it to this little door plate here. Just like so. You can always come back and add more color to it. Let's just put a little bit on this, this little wood um, deck here, step. And just put this just brush this color on, make, make sure you don't cross those lines. That's, that's such a big thing. I know I say that in every video, but it's so important not to cross those lines. Stay in those sections. And I'm adding a little color now to the doorknob, but because the doorknob is round, we wanna see that highlight. Remember, anytime something is round, you wanna see that highlight, even if it's really tiny. 
So I wanna show that doorknob. If we colored that in solid, it would look like a hole. It would look like a hole going back into that door. So we don't, we don't want that. And we can just darken these little details in here again too. Okay, so that looks good. We've got that about finished. So I have cut a mask and I'm just going to cover this door now. So just like this, I wanna put that on there just to protect my door. And now I'm going to stamp this texture on here. So I'm going to use uh, my number 40. And you can see that uh, I only need about half. So if I kind of line this up, you know, I want it to be about this high. I only need about, um, oh, probably two thirds of these bricks. So let's just ink that much. And we're gonna, just gonna stamp it over here. And then we're gonna ink it again, the same. And we're gonna stamp it over here. So it really, it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't stress out about it, just put it on there and you're good to go. Okay, so now we don't have to do much with this. We're just gonna soften, kind of soften these little lines a little bit. Uh, just the idea of the bricks in the background. We just wanna show that um, the little door is sitting on a wall. So cute. And you can pull some of this color out now too from the doorway. Just like so. Okay, so we are ready to move on to the next step now, and that would be to add our foliage in. So let's go ahead and do the vines. So the vines, because they move to the left and the right, they're gonna work for either side. So let's get these inked up. And we're gonna start over on this side. We're just gonna kind of bring this vine uh, around like this. And then we're gonna do the other side the same way. So just kind of bring it around just like this. We're just kind of growing this up over uh, this little doorway. And you can do as much of this as you want. Remember, it's just the idea of things. So it doesn't have to be all concrete. We just want to show that there's all kinds of foliage and flowers and vines growing around this little door. And you can always put more of this in later too. Okay, so we've got that done. Let's go ahead and add our grasses now to the side. So we've got a left and a right. And let's just go ahead and put this in. This is the little field grass. And just stamp this in on the right and the left. And then add the water to it. So easy. You don't need a lot of water with this field grass. It's really uh, delicate. You know, the lines are really simple and delicate, so you don't have to add a lot to it. Okay, let's add our uh, long stem now. So I'm going to use two colors on this, the magenta, so number 20, and then the number 15. And we're just gonna add some of these little flowers in here. So let's go ahead and ink that again. this just put some of these in and then just add a little water to it you can see how that just pops that color out I just love it okay that looks good so let's go ahead now and continue down here we want to add some grasses in here because we don't want these little steps to look like they're kind of floating in space so let's just bring this grass kind of up the hill. So you can see the stairs, you know, are kind of coming down. So you want to kind of show that this is going up a hill. So just kind of walk your grass along like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. I know I say that a million times, but it really, it's my favorite thing about it. I mean, it's almost my favorite thing that it doesn't have to be perfect because I love things that I can do quick and in just a few minutes, love it. Okay, so let's just pull some of this green down. That's looking pretty good. We can pull some of this color out from these cracks. That looks good. Okay, so we're gonna create the hill now. So, you know, with watercolor, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be concrete. Everything doesn't have to begin and end. So we're just gonna show the idea of the hill. We're just gonna show the idea of it. 
So we're gonna take that small grass and we're just gonna, gonna kind of make a little um, hill. So just make a little arch over the top of this little door and just kind of bring it down, just a half circle. And you don't have to go all the way down. You're just showing the idea of it. And then pull that color out, up and out. You can drag some of it down too. And you can see we're just showing that this little door is inside of a hill. Super easy. Okay, so let's take a little of this color now from our palette and let's just put a little sky in. So we're also going to give the idea that this is the top of the hill. Just brush that in. You can see how this is kind of coming together. Just like that. That looks pretty good. Let's just put a little of this color in here too. You know, we kind of see a little shadow under these spines, so let's just do that. Let's just add a little of this color in here. Back here, the door is kind of set into the hill, so we'd see a little shadow back in there. I do this a lot. Go back in and add a little color later. So fun. Okay, so let's add something at the top. If you have enough room on your paper, you can add a little tree up here. That would really give the impression that it's a hill, but you can do that with a little flower too. So you wanna kind of show that something is growing up at the top. So let's just use part of this. So here's that same little uh, long stem that we used before. And you can see we've got the idea of that flower growing up there. You can see I've got this kind of coming down, so I'm just gonna wash this out. I don't wanna see that. So we've got our little flower growing up above there. Uh, let's just add a few more little blooms. So we're gonna do that with those, those tiny little dots. Uh, these are so tiny, and I've used, I've used little dots so, so many times, but these are really, really tiny. So I love that. They just work perfect for these little projects. And let's just put a few over here. Super cute. We've got our little door about finished. And you know, if you like this detail, you don't have to add any water to these. You can just leave them. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. You know, every time you do these, they're gonna be different. Some of these images I've done, you know, dozens and dozens of times, and every time I do it, it looks totally different. And I also love that about it. That's why it's important to sign and date, you know, because this is your original work, and it doesn't matter if you're using stamps. That doesn't matter at all, because it's your work, and it's your style. Love that about it. Okay, so one last thing to do, and that is to sign and date. 2018. And we have completed another project. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this project, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you all next week.